The Smelly Kipper. One evening, James was telling scary stories in Tidmouth sheds. And then the ghost train rattled over the bridge, waking up everyone with its spooky whistle. Ooh, ooh. Most of the engines don't take James's stories too seriously. But Percy found the stories very scary. Especially because Percy often pulled the mail train at night. Sometimes at night, things look scarier than they really are. And that's when I saw the ghost train. <gasps> James, Percy doesn't like your stories. Well, it's not my fault if Percy's not as brave as I am. If you're so brave, why don't you go out at night and pull the mail train? Uh, pulling the mail train is a job for a small engine like Percy, not a splendid tender engine like me. It's OK, Thomas. I don't mind pulling the mail train. <laughs> If you're really not afraid, James, perhaps you'd like to prove it tonight by pulling the flying kipper for me. All right, Henry, I shall. I'm not afraid of a few fish. We'll see, James. We'll see. James made his way to the docks to collect the flying kipper, loaded with a fresh shipment of fish. But as he got closer, James began to notice a funny smell. Oh! Porter was shunting trucks for Cranky, who was unloading the fishing boats. Oh, Porter, what's that smell? It's the fish, of course, James. Are you here to collect the flying kipper? Oh, no! Uh, Henry is supposed to pull the flying kipper. I mainly pull coaches. Perhaps I should go and fetch him. <laughs> So James headed back to Tidmouth's sheds. Wake up, Henry. You need to pull the smelly kipper. You're late. But uh, I thought you were pulling the flying kipper tonight. Don't be silly, Henry. I don't pull the flying kipper. That's your job. I'm far too splendid. But you said you would pull it to show how brave you were. You must have been having a dream about me. Good night, Henry. See you in the morning. Oh, I'd better hurry. James thought he had been very clever, telling Henry that it had all been a dream. <laughs> Henry hurried as fast as he could as he pulled the flying kipper. But every delivery of fish was late. And some were very late indeed. Oh. When Henry returned to Tidmouth Sheds in the morning, the fat controller was waiting for him. What happened to you last night, Henry? Why was the flying kipper so late? Sorry, sir. I must have overslept. I dreamt that James said he would pull the flying kipper for me. That wasn't a dream, Henry. I heard James tell you that. I heard him too. James didn't feel so clever now. James, is this true? Was it you who caused confusion and delay? I'm sorry, sir. I was going to pull the flying kipper for Henry, sir. I even went to collect the trucks, but they were very 
smelly, sir. Smelly? Of course the fish were smelly. But you told Henry you were going to take that train. I know, sir, but I thought if I was pulling coaches, my passengers might object, sir, if I was smelly, I mean. Smelly or not, you shall pull the Flying Kipper tonight to make up for your broken promise to Henry. Oh, yes, sir. James was not happy at all. All day, he kept thinking about the job he had to do that night. That night, as James approached the docks, he could smell the fish. And he didn't like the smell at all. Hello, James. Where are your coaches? You're not here to pull the flying kipper, are you? Possibly. James was very careful backing up to the troublesome trucks. Easy does it now. Ooh, I don't want any fish on me. The troublesome trucks thought this was very funny indeed. James is scared of the smelly fish! James is scared of the smelly fish! Stop saying that! I am not! James is scared of the smelly fish! James is scared of the smelly fish! James was distracted because the troublesome trucks were teasing him. And then there was trouble. Cranky was still unloading the fish from the fishing boats. And James backed right into his hook. Oh! Oh, James! <laughs> The troublesome trucks thought James looked very funny indeed, all covered in fish. So did Porter. You're supposed to take the fish in the trucks, James. <laughs> the smell was even stronger now. James hurried as fast as he could to deliver the fish. In the morning at Tidmouth Sheds, the other engines woke up to a strange smell. What's that smell? That's the smell of fish. <laughs> That's the smell of James. Oh! <laughs> it looks like he's brought a present for the Fat Controller. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> there was still a fish sticking out from under the front of James's smoke box. Oh, smelly fish! Oh, uh, oh! I... I had a little accident. <laughs> but your red paint looks lovely and shiny now. Must be all that fish oil, James. You look more splendid than ever. <laughs> <laughs> then the fat controller arrived. Well done, James. Well done. I was very pleased to hear that the fish were delivered on time this morning. In spite of your little accident. Oh, James, what a smell. You must go to the washdown right away. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'd be very happy to do that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> At the washdown, James was very happy to be getting clean. He hoped he never had to see another fish for a very long time.